summer is in full swing, and with that comes the joy of hosting more gatherings and events, which often means bigger grocery runs. With that in mind, our next guest will share some smart shopping tips for the season. Schools First Federal Credit Union is here to help you make the most of your shopping trips and keep your budget in check. Let's welcome Nathan Calhoun, Calvine Point Branch Manager from Schools First Federal Credit Union. Welcome to the show, Nathan. Uh, thank you very much. Yes, okay, so summer, it's the season for those back our barbecues for pool parties those get-togethers always a lot of fun but it's sometimes more frequent snack options that we need to consider so what's your first tip for us on how we can cut back on these expenses when it comes to these larger get-togethers that we're putting on yeah you know I, I would say I love everybody loves those summer get-togethers the backyard barbecues but when you're hosting them you know it's good to know that you know hey they the prices can add up <laughs> and it hits the budget mm -hmm. uh, so a couple things I'd recommend you know let's say you know the people are invited they're coming over you know they're on the way yeah um, first thing you want to do for your menu is just to assess what you already have on hand mm -hmm. go into the pantry go to your refrigerator figure out the ingredients that you can already use mm -hmm. this will make sure that you don't buy duplicate items down at the store yeah. it'll also ensure that you're using up the ingredients around the house mm -hmm. uh, before they go back yeah um, next thing you know uh, you're, you're gonna want to make a list um, don't go to the grocery store without a list yeah. uh, I've been guilty of this many times <laughs> and ended up leaving this grocery store uh, forgetting one of the crucial items yes. and having to make a second trip. Uh, the other thing the list does is make sure that you're not making impulse purchases mm -hmm. when you're down there. Mm -hmm. Now that you got your list together, go ahead, start looking around, see if there's any sales or coupons available for any of the items that are on your list. Yeah. Um, you can check the store websites, the circulars, there's even apps out there dedicated to showing what coupons are available. Mm -hmm. um, this is a great way to cut your costs on some of your menu items. Another thing you can do while you're down there is just join the store's loyalty program. Mm -hmm. A lot of these let you uh, earn points towards discounts on future purchases. Yes, and we need those discounts at the grocery store. Absolutely. So take advantage of that. <laughs> Go in with your list. And let's say we've got our list ready. We've got the coupons ready. What tips do you have for tackling shopping? Okay, so I just mentioned that you should go out and find those sales, find those coupons. Mm -hmm. There's an inverse to that, though. When you're down there, be careful about that sale temptation. Mm -hmm. You know, an item that you're walking through the aisles and you see it's going, buy two of these and you get the third for free. <laughs> it's a great deal, but if it's not on your list, you're just adding to the overall cost right. of your bill. Mm -hmm. um, another thing you can look at is start looking at the store brands. A lot of these store brands offer a similar quality to their uh, name brand counterparts, but save you uh, by going with the store brand. Mm -hmm. Um, and another thing that I would just point out, seasonal produce is mm -hmm. generally your most affordable produce. Okay. And right now, over the summertime in California, we're so lucky because we have such a wide range of seasonal produce available. It's a great time to set your menu up around the fruits and veggies, just produce in general that's yeah. available to us. And look to actually create a lot more vegetable fruit dishes to lower back some of the costs that are involved in buying all that meat that mm -hmm. usually go into these backyard barbecues. Speaking of meat, one other thing I'd recommend, Buy in bulk. It, it sounds yeah. counter, uh, you know, intuitive to what we're talking about here, but buying in bulk for meat, it freezes great. So mm. if you have room in your freezer, you go back, you portion it all out, yep. freeze what you're not going to use, thaw it out for future meals. Now you're saving uh, price per meal. Yeah, especially when there's, there's discounts on meat as well, too. We've got to take advantage. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've been talking about it. There's no denying hosting a summer barbecue. It can put a strain on our wallet. So, but we want to, we don't want to miss out on the fun and throwing those get togethers. So any solutions for that, Nathan? You know, one of the things that I think about getting together with friends mm -hmm. is, is how can everybody contribute? You know, one thing that's becoming a little bit more the norm in summer yeah. barbecues and backyard get togethers is just making it a potluck. Allow your friends to come over, bring a dish, whether mm -hmm. it be an appetizer, an entree, maybe mm -hmm. just some meat to throw on the grill. This really helps share in the overall impact or cost, uh, make you a little less hesitant to also invite everybody over, right? Yeah. Knowing that you're not gonna take the hit all by yourself. And another thing people are doing is, is adding what they call like a BYOC, bring your own cooler. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, a lot of backyard barbecues are going to involve a, a refreshing beverage, maybe a, you know, alcoholic beverage, beer or wine. Mm -hmm. These can really add up to in price. Yeah. Asking your friends to bring, you know, their own beverages with them will allow them to enjoy their favorite beverage, but also share in the cost for everybody. Yeah, I like that. A potluck always makes things a little bit easier. My biggest fear as a hostess is, well, everyone like everything I'm making, yeah. but if everyone's bringing something, they usually are going to bring something they like. So it's a win-win situation. Yeah. Nathan, thank you for these helpful tips. 
Thank you so much. I hope the tips help everybody over yeah. the summer and their get-togethers. And for any other tips, you can check out our website at uh, schoolsfirstfcu.org. There we go, from Nathan himself. And you can visit one of the many Schools First Federal Credit Union branch locations as seen on the screen. And find more online by going to schoolsfirstfcu.org.